What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. It's time for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 19. So last episode was absolutely fantastic. I said in my discussion during the episode that it was very close to another 10 out of 10 for me. There's been a few of those in this season already and we're only 18 now, 19 episodes in. Almost all of the plot points have been covered. They covered so much last episode, it was so good. Ross is still alive. Ed and Armstrong met up with her after rendezvousing in Risen Bull with Lieutenant Breda. We got some really cool information about the ruins of Xerxes and, you know, this East Sage and this West Sage and how alchemy was brought into Amestris and Alkahestri to Xing. Really cool information there. And then we found out just how much time and effort Roy has put into his whole ploy to find out who really killed Hughes. It was just so good the way everything came together. You know, this Elizabeth person was actually a code name for Hawkeye and she and Jean Havoc as well as maybe some other people went undercover as they're essentially doing this right under the military's nose as the military is trying to frame Ross for Hughes's murder. Roy is just in his bag with his ploys to figure out who is actually responsible. So he's lured out the chimera of Lost Envy and Gluttony who is actually Barry the Chopper 66's original body. And now we're right in the middle of that whole fight going down. They seem to have this Chimera pinned down, but Hawkeye has been attacked by Gluttony. And that was the cliffhanger that we were left with. I think that's only really the second cliffhanger. The only other one I can remember was in the fifth laboratory. So I imagine that's where we're gonna pick up from in this episode. And I forgot to talk about this in my discussion last episode. But Ed found out that Winry's parents were not only the doctors that we knew of during the Ishvalan war, but they were also saving Ishvalan people. So Ed learned this from a bunch of Ishvalan people who were hiding out, I guess, in the Xerxes ruins. And we found out that it seems like Winry's parents, the Rock Bells, saved Scar and then Scar turned on them. And we know a lot about Scar's character. It's not confirmed that it is Scar, but it was a a guy with bandages over his face which presumably led to the scar that he has now and tattoos on his arm which we know scar has so that's a very interesting thing to keep in mind going forward as well but i'm really excited for this episode can't wait to see what happens we're going to get into it now full metal alchemist brotherhood episode 19. straight into it here we go Elizabeth. hey what's going on <laughs> that's what he thinks is happening Get involved, Roy. I gotta find them. This could lead us straight to the person who killed Lieutenant Let's Hughes. Let's go get everyone involved. I'm here for it. Okay. Just be careful. I will. I promise. Death of the Undying. Interesting. That must be to do with the homunculi, right? Okay, here we go. What's going on? Oh my goodness. Are you all done now? Gluttony is a demon. Then it's time to eat you. No! Oh, it's on his tongue. Someone help her, please. Okay, let's go. Glasses guy. Oh, the dog's okay, thank goodness. Bullet's gone. Goody, goody. I get to have dinner and dessert. Let's go, Roy! Oh, it's time. Look at this guy. <laughs> he felt like he had to. You could still have kept your involvement a secret. That was the yeah. whole idea. Are you a complete idiot? Yeah, fine, fine. That's it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Colonel, the target's on the move, sir. How did this happen? Camp, sergeant, don't leave a single trace. And you stay right by the sergeant's side, Hayate. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Hayate, is that the dog? I love it. Thanks for saving us back there. There we go. Tell me later. Let's just stay focused on the mission for now. Sir. Oh, look at her. I see that. Let's go, Hawkeye. Wait, get in. All right, here we go. Al is out here too. To go after Mr. Hughes's murderer? Yes, 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 yeah, <laughs> yes. I, I'm so here for this. Don't let him get away. He ain't going nowhere. This is such a cool team up. <laughs> Not until I eviscerate that meat bag! Let's go, Barry. So do you think we can expect another appearance from that blubber beast back there? I doubt it. I scorched him off the ledge. Yeah. Well, we know homunculi he didn't really can survive, survive a lot. 
In that case, you were probably dealing with a homunculus. Hold on a damn second. What are you saying, Al? That's just not possible. Yeah, that's what I thought. I know for a fact. This is good. I'm so glad Roy's getting all involved in all the details here now. Reed get the top half of his head knocked off, but he was perfectly fine a minute later. They're real, all right. So they're definitely they're saying Gluttony's fine. Believe me. After what I just saw, I have to believe you. Good. I'm glad we're all getting on the same page. Down to a bubbling puddle back there. Are you telling me he's still alive? He very well could be. Yes, he is. Wonderful. God, Gluttony is a demon. <laughs> I love this squad. Another laboratory. Directly to the military. Okay. That's all we need for now. We're pulling back. Well, you have fun with that. <laughs> he said, "I gotta kill my buddy." That psycho stormed the building. Yeah, it's our lucky day. Huh? Yeah, he's gonna take the heat off of them. All personnel must evacuate immediately. And they can pretend like they're up to Barry. Colonel. Stay back. The man who broke in is a deranged Yes, driver. good. My men will handle his That works out so well for him. To seal off the exits. Barry is so clutch and he doesn't even know it. Is this like where Alec Lost and Envy have been like having their meetings We're with all this chimera like down here somewhere? Yes. Yeah, it's looking pretty pretty sus. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is is Jean gonna run into it Lust? Like anybody's used this lab in a while. Whatever they did here was painful for someone. Well, no. And there it is. I'm so here for this. It's bad enough that you stood me up on our date. And now you point a gun at me? <laughs> You've got some nerve, don't you? Solaris? What's going on? This is gonna trip Roy out. Havoc. Your girl's got the tattoo. Yeah. First I've seen it, sir. He's <laughs> <laughs> staring. It's not very polite. What is she doing? <laughs> I can see how she tricked you so easily. You've always been a sucker for big boobs. <laughs> My man. I can't help it. I love him. This is not the time, man. Anything. Tell me. Do you know who Maze Hughes is? Uh-oh. Yes, he was quite the intelligent man, wouldn't you agree? I only wish I'd had the opportunity to pick his brain. <laughs> and that's all he needed. On your knees. I he said, shut the thing. hell up. It's not gonna be that easy, man. Take more than you're capable of to make me get on my knees. Roy is not messing around. Did you pick that up in Ishval? Huh? Ishval? Alright, from the Civil War. Okay. Homunculus. But I doubt you've seen this one. The... Oh, what are you doing? Take a good look, boy. Is that a stone? It's a philosopher's stone. Do they all have them? I was created with this stone at my core. Oh. It's not just a legend. You're Do a all monster. of the homunculi have a stone? You don't plan on letting us live. Yeah. It's such a shame. <laughs> Too slow. Oh, the water. It's a disaster. Friends? Friends? <laughs> Al? Hawkeye? With her freaky fingers. No, she made a big mistake. She flooded the room with water. What that mean? A simple transmutation, and we've got hydrogen gas. Okay. <gasps> Let's go. Uh, oh come on, man. <laughs> this is a gift from one of my ex-girlfriends. Oh, you gotta let that shit go, man. You mind giving me a light here? <laughs> With this alchemy. All oh, right, you're all wet. Yeah, well, those things will kill you, you know that? <laughs> True. She's dust. I definitely cremated her. No, there's no way lost this sure, gone. sir. For all we know, she could still regenerate. So stay alert. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. No, no shot. No, not... Havoc! Damn, is he... Oh, my God. Is he about to see another one of his friends get murdered? Ooh. Dude, she's taking a beating though. There's nothing you can do that'll kill me. Then you won't mind if I borrow this. Yes, sir. Is that the play? That's looking like it's doing something. Oh. I need 
here to save Havoc. Is she actually gone? No, there's no way. I don't know Wait. much about medicinal alchemy. Roy just has a philosopher's stone. My abilities. Oh, that's not looking so it good, man. Like oh, okay, okay. okay. She just regenerates straight out of the stone. No shot! No. I refuse to believe any of this. Bradley? Oh no. It's a good time for us to have been introduced to Alka history, right? Medicinal. How good is it at dealing with stab wounds in the chest? No. I prefer to handle it on my own. That's big wrath. No, he's fine. He's fine. It's just through his side. She just. Oh, I don't like those noises. You were a prime candidate for sacrifice and all. But you forced me to kill you. Mm. Oh, damn you. I want you to watch poor Jean bleed to death. Then you can die. You're a demon. Havoc! You can't die. Not yet. Not before I do. <laughs> She's just leaving them to bleed out. That's her mistake. Um, the, I see the transmutation circle. Well, he actually did it? But you got here too late. God damn. This mess. My body is damaged. He really entirely. chopped up his own body. I guess a body just can't hold up with someone else's soul being shoved inside of it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. That's if the soul is incompatible with another person's body. Wouldn't it be the same for a soul bonded to a suit of armor? Oh. That's right. There's no guarantee I'll be able to stay in this form long enough to get Oh, 66 back. playing with Al's mind again. This time he doesn't mean to, but it's a similar theme. Interesting. <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to show up, Lusty. Lusty. 66. I've wanted to chop you up since I met you. It's bad enough to lose one, but now you're forcing me to kill a second candidate. Al as well? Hmm. That's enough of the casual chit chat, Lust. All I want to hear from you is screaming. Let's go. And it was that simple. Is he gone? Oh, death of the undying. It means 66. I do hate overconfident men. No, I liked him. I think I was about to send the lieutenant to join her superior. I'm pissed. Wait a minute. So when you said you'd already had to kill someone. Yeah, she's just realizing it's Roy. Or <laughs> Lust is a villain villain. Ooh, tell him all guy! She got the other one on her. And she's just mad. This is doing nothing to Lust, but she's just mad. A third one! This is so tough. Are you done? So who's left? It's just Bradley, right? Damn, Hawkeye. You tell she cares about Roy. Let's go, Al. Stand up, Lieutenant. You need to get out of here. You saw how easily she chopped up Barry, though. Ooh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot! It appears you've opened a portal. To the truth. Oh my goodness, but does it even matter? Such a shame. Bradley! Okay, okay, Al is still doing it. Run! I won't! Go! I won't leave you! Let's go. Facts. Oh my god, he's been through so much. Let's go. That's what Ed said last episode. Oh dear. Look at this guy. Well spoken. I couldn't agree more. Roy? Let's go. You shouldn't have left him there to bleed out. Oh, she is burnt. After all. Let's go, Roy. Look at this guy. Oh, look at him. He's using the flint for ignition, and he carved a transmutation circle. Oh, that's hand. so tough. I seared the wound closed. Oh, that's hard. Out from the pain. Holy shit! But 
I'd like to try and prove you wrong. Let's go, Roy. So let's see how many times. Oh, there's so many cool shots in this this episode. Oh my god, look at her. Burn that stone. Wait, are we- is Lust really dying here? Oh my god! Dude, that scream is intense! He's not backing down. Oh my god! Roy is... the man. He's gonna burn away. There's no way. I hate losing. But there are worse ways to die than Lust is gone? Like you. I love how cold and focused your eyes are. I look forward to the day when those eyes will be wide with agony. It's coming. It's coming. Wow, Lust is gone, man. There goes the stone. Holy that was so cool. Okay, let's get this man some help. But what about Jean? Are you all right? Havoc? Forget about me. We need to get you some help. Thank you for looking after my subordinate. Yeah, sure. We need to call you a doctor. Good job, Al. Yeah. Hurry. Call a doctor for Havoc. Holy Bradley was watching. Well, he he observed. He knows. Interesting. Oh, good, 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 good. He's all right. Oh, Winry. Worrying, worrying. There you go. Oh, poor Winry. Uh, hey, he's look he's probably looking a bit bruised though. Aw. Moron! Welcome back! <laughs> Moron. Okay. Thanks. Well uh, 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 uh. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Not the laughing with the tears in her eyes, man. Oh. <laughs> that shouldn't happen! You won't stay! That's a nice touch. So that's looking like the same sort of circle oh, as what we've been seeing, like in Xerxes close. in the fifth laboratory. I hope someone can fix me. Wait, wait, Barry! I'd rather not live my life as sheet metal. He's fine, because the circle's still intact. Oh, what the, how the hell are you still alive? Can he can he Oh no, what is he get his body back? You're gonna ruin everything! No! Don't do it! Wait! Don't stop! Oh, did he break the circle? So he dies. No! That's tough. I was hoping maybe there was some way for them to merge, but clearly that did not happen. Um. There's just no way this is happening right now. I have chills, man. Hohenheim. It's his death. I got like crazy ass chills then when that music kicked in. It's another cliffhanger! If this becomes a regular thing, I'm gonna start having problems. So, instead of covering multiple plot points like we did last episode, we focus mainly on this whole... Th this gang of people, the Roy Hawkeye, Al, 66, Havoc, going after Lust. There's so many things to unpack here. Lust is gone? 66 is gone? I think Havoc is gonna be fine from the sounds of things. Oh my goodness. So, so Lust has revealed at her core was a philosopher stone. I'm assuming that is the same with all of the homunculi. She played around with Havoc and Roy and she paid the price for it for not killing them up front. Roy came back and man, I'm, I'll talk about it straight away. That sequence was epic. He's carved a circle into his hand, seared his own wound shot and is using Havoc's lighter as a way to like, ignite his his flames and like use his his flame alchemy i guess oh my god but that was crazy like the way lust was screaming was so real like i almost felt bad for her like alphonse stepping in to save hawker i know i've jumped ahead for a few things i just had to talk about that first of all because it was so cool 
But Hawkeye going nuts hearing that Lust is potentially killing Roy was pretty raw. I felt that. You can tell how much she cares for Roy. And there was that moment earlier on as well after Roy saved Hawkeye from gluttony. After Hawkeye thanked her, she kind of looked at him and smiled. That was a very nice moment. Leading into this moment later on, the team up with Al getting involved, telling Hawkeye and Roy about the homunculus, the homunculi, really good. I'm glad they're in the know about all of this now. And 66, Barry, he was such a sick character. A very sad way for him to go out, getting chopped up by lust, only to have like his, his body, like his original body, be the thing that destroyed the circle that was binding his soul to the armor. So I'm pretty sure that means he's dead, right? I remember they spoke about that in the fifth laboratory. So rest in peace, Barry the Chopper. You were a very fun character. But I'm just still blown away by that whole Roy and Lust sequence. The, the way it ended with Lust coming out once again and almost extending. I think it's like Ultimate Spear, I believe Greed called it. And it's like right here. It is about to hit Roy. And he was so badass. Like the whole way through, he's like, he's like, nah, I've got this. Like he's like, I'm not moving. I'm just doing my thing. So cool. Alphonse coming in with his with his alchemy again, putting up a wall to protect himself and Hawkeye while Roy just goes nuts, just toasting Lust. Oh, it was so good. It was so, so good. But now we have Roy has uncovered what happened. It was Lust. He's killed Lust, though she's gone. I don't know if that means they don't have proof or something, but they were able to trace it to the third laboratory. And I'm sure they'll be able to, to figure something out about everything that's going on. But Roy knows that it was... Well, he, okay, technically Envy killed Hughes. At this point, he thinks it was Lust. So that's really interesting that Envy is still like a plot point for this whole Hughes case. But at this point, Roy thinks he has his man or his homunculus in this case. But Bradley was there. He saw it play out and he's at the top. So he can still mess with things. He might turn this whole situation around onto Roy which is really interesting. We'll have to see how that plays out. Some nice moments between Winry and Alphonse that Winry is just worrying, worrying, worrying about them. And it's tough. Like I, I honestly understand she can't lose anyone else, but she was so happy to see Alphonse come back all beaten up again. So she was like, you moron, like you idiot for getting involved in all of this and, and getting hurt again. But I'm so glad that you're back. I really love the emotion and the, the humanity that Winry is showing. And Al getting a lot of action as well was really cool. I did mention that, although it was inadvertent, Barry66 did mention that, I might mix the details up a little bit here, but I guess the new soul that was bound to Barry's old body was not a good match, right? And that's why Barry's body was decomposing. And then Al was like, oh, but what if that's the same for a soul and suit of armor? So my interpretation of that was, it, will the suit of armor not hold up? Will his soul not hold up? Something like that. But very interesting. I'll have to keep that in my mind. And I'm sure we'll come back to that at some point. But like I said, it, it, to me, that's kind of a callback to the fifth laboratory where Barry planted these seeds in Al's mind about, oh, were you ever really real? Maybe Ed just made you. But in this sense, he's actually talking about the truth. He, he's just talking about what he's seeing in front of him. And it's playing with Al's mind. So really interesting kind of callback. At least to me, that's what it felt like. But what a cliffhanger at the end there. Like that's Hohenheim. That's their father. And that, that is not the father, right? I've forgotten the name of the lady. I think it was Sean, maybe. The Ishvalan lady that was speaking to Ed about Winry's parents. She said, please deliver a message to Winry's parents' grave. And that's where I assume Ed was going to. And perhaps their own mother is there as well. And that's why Hohenheim is there. But that just came out of nowhere. We had almost a whole episode dedicated to this whole Roy and Lust situation. And then bang, here's Ed. Bang, here's Hohenheim. And Ed's having all these flashbacks to, to pictures of him. Like, this is the guy. So a crazy shakeup. Like, I wonder like what this interaction is going to be. Like, that really shakes things up. I don't really have like much to go off about what I think is going to happen. Is Ed going to be happy to see him? I don't think so. Like, is he going to be mad that he ran out and like left them alone and then their mother died? Probably. 
Like, why is he showing up now of all times? Like, oh, it's just so interesting. And I'll touch on the, the episode title. I think I've missed out on doing that a lot throughout this show, but Death of the Undying, my first thought was, you know, a homunculus, right? You know, the undying. Like I thought one of the homunculi was gonna die. I thought maybe it might be gluttony at the start, but I feel like gluttony's gotten the least development out of like lust, envy and himself. But no, it was lust. Like we actually lost lust. And when Father destroyed Greed a few episodes ago, I did ask the question, can he manifest them again? And I thought Lust was a really important character and a really good villain. So I'm shocked if she's just gone. She's out of the show for like, like she's just dead. But the same thing happened with Hughes. So, you know, this show has already done that. Like Hughes was very important and gone. 10 episodes in, gone. Lust, you know, nine episodes later, Lust is gone as well. So if we never see Lust again, <laughs> that's crazy. But we still have Envy, we still have Wrath, Bradley running around, Sloth, we've barely even been introduced yet, and there's still Pride running around somewhere, which is really interesting as well. But the Death of the Undying, it wasn't just Lust, it was Barry, 66 as well, which I am pretty sad about. He really grew on me, he was, he was becoming a, you know, a bit of a, a, bit of a favourite. He, he served his purpose, like he was, he was who he was, he was still a little bit of a freak. But I think that's going to do it for this one, like... The last two episodes have been so good. I think maybe it's time to take a step back again and focus more on building up more story. You know, Roy thinks he has his person in lust as the murderer of Hughes, but Bradley was there. What's that going to mean for the rest of the case and everything else moving forward? Ed is about to meet Hohenheim, his father, like the father, like what's going to happen there? And Scar presumably is still on his way with May and Yoki to central so still lots of things that can happen really excited to see what's going to happen moving forward but that's going to do it for this one thank you all so much for watching as always please feel free to leave your comments and feedback i always appreciate it and we'll see you in the next episode of full metal alchemist brotherhood